Please, Yemi, you can go on with your section. Thank you. Okay. He, okay, he says, unmute me. Kenneth, please, can you unmute um, Yemi? Yemi, yeah, try to unmute yourself. Are you able to? Hello? Okay, so if you can hear me, Dr. Okay. Faith, okay. Kenneth, okay, Yemi yeah. is saying the host. Okay, yes. good. He's yes, here yes. Now. Okay. Yeah, thank you guys. Um, well done, everyone. Um, well, what can I say? That is why um, we need um, more young people to, to do better. But however, it is a distraction like um, our Dr. Faith said, so we will still pr progress regardless. Um, I, I, I was almost you know, getting to the end of what I was talking about. So it's all about collaboration. Um, I, I'm supposed to go on and on with the things that we've done, but I'm just going to speak on what we are doing currently. So we are working with the Lagos State, like Lagos State, the West region, on to build mental health ambassadors. Like I mentioned, there are a lot of levels to depression, levels to mental health problems that people are ignoring and people are not paying attention to. Uh, so Lagos State uh, with us was looking at building mental health ambassadors. They're, go, they're gonna go into secondary schools, go into different regions in Lagos, talk to them, understand what's happening with them and see what we can come up with and you know, advise and do what we're supposed to do. So it's all about collaboration. It's all about the mindset. It's all about doing what you're supposed to do as a young person. There are gonna be distractions, a lot of things that's gonna be happening, like what just happened now, this is a real life and uh, something. But how you're gonna move and avoid distraction is it lies on the person. I could have just, you know what, you know, left the group or the room and say, oh, what's all this? But then again, we're still here and we're still gonna be here to do. So I'm here to support every young person. I'm here to support Youth of Global, like I've been doing from day one, which I'm gonna to continue to do. And um, so that's it basically. So if you wanna know more about what we do, you can visit our website, emeric.org, I-M-E-Y. R-E-A-C-H.org. You can Google us. My name is Emil Dubote. Thank you, everyone. It's an honor to be here. Thank you, Vivian. Thank you, Jimmy. Can you please write your email on the chat box? Just in case some people didn't hear you. Shreveo. Yes, yes, Vivian. Okay, the next kindly introduce, introduce, introduce the next speaker, please. Okay, I should go ahead. Yes, please go ahead. Okay. Okay. Everyone, the next speaker, the next presenter rather, is Ediomi Udo. He's a Nigerian and the founder of Swift Entrepreneurs Nigeria. He's going to be having 10 minutes to share with us what Swift Entrepreneurs Nigeria is all about, their social impact highlights. Ladies and gentlemen, let's make, let's make welcome Ediomi Udo. Can you hear me, dear me? Uh, yes, I can. Okay, the floor is yours. Okay, my, my video is on. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Um, special thanks to Dr. Faith. The special thanks to Dr. Faith. Um, he's doing a really, really nice job. Uh, I actually met um, Dr. Faith on LinkedIn. That was um, sometime last month, and he gave me this opportunity just after a meeting that we had um, online. So I, I looked out at um, youth global, youth of global activities. I've seen the large impact. You guys are doing a very, very great job supporting young people all across um, Africa. 
So I, I might not be using the 10 minutes, but I will ensure that I, mm -hmm. I speak and make good use of my time. I hope everybody can hear me. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. my name is Edioni Udo, and I'm the founder and convener of Swift Entrepreneurs Africa. So um, what we do actually is to support young entrepreneurs, young student entrepreneurs in within African universities. So um, we started out last year from a problem that I particularly saw from among young people. So we, um, if we look at the statistics, so many um, big startups in Africa uh, actually started in the universities. So we have the likes of Paystack, we have the likes of um, Flutterwave, we have so many um, businesses, so many startups that, that started from the universities. Most of these co-founders, they actually meet in the universities. So if we look at that statistics, we will find out that the next sustainable business is coming out from the university um, campus. There are young people who are building products, building solutions. They have awesome solutions to complex problems that we are being that are faced by people in the world. So how do we give them that spotlight? That's where Swift Entrepreneurs comes in. So what we do is uh, we connect student entrepreneurs with industry leaders so that they can get the exposure of the real life experience, what really is happening outside the student's world, outside the university world. So last year we started out with um, webinars from um, Paystar, we had someone from Paystar, we had someone from Patricia coming to talk to uh, the students via um, virtual platforms like Zoom, that, like what we are using. So over then we've had um, over 50 student entrepreneurs and we are actually starting out in Nigeria. Unical University of Calabar is our host community for now. And we've actually, we are expanding from here to other universities. So we've looked at this as a problem and we've offered a solution. So what we do is we connect student entrepreneurs with viable and investable businesses to potential investors. So um, we, we, we are looking out to create employers of level. Imagine a student community of um, 40,000 students and we are able to get at least 1,000 student entrepreneurs who can build sustainable businesses. It means that you can go on to employ one or two persons. So we are looking at the indirect effect, 2,000 jobs. So we've come up with a project we call Project 1000. Now Project 1000 is a vision we, we want to, we are using to um, build student entrepreneurs. We want to establish 1,000 student entrepreneurs within the university campuses as we expand to be able to employ one or two persons. So one direct job, two indirect jobs, multiply that by 1,000, we have reduced the un unemployment challenges in the country. If we can successfully tackle this in the university um, walls, then we will actually have a reduced number of um, unemployment, unemployed graduates. So it's a solution that is simple and easy, though it's been tax challenging because um, we need partnerships such as Youth of Global to expand, you know, with um, to expand our, our network in order to gain um, more visibility. So um, this year, by next month, we've actually secured a partnership with um, the Young Entrepreneurs Organization of European Union. So the president has been in touch with him and is organizing a business trip for Africans. So they'll be touring. Um, I'll, I'll be part of that team from Nigeria, we're touring six South African countries. So with this partnership like this, we are, we are expanding to other um, countries. So six African countries, about 12 universities, and we're meeting with other persons. That's how we, we want to spread the seed of swift entrepreneurs to other countries. And then after in, in can you hear me? Can anybody? Seems like I was muted. Hello. 
Yes, we can hear you. Okay, okay. I was meeting at some point. So uh, we are going to have the West African edition by next by November, which um I'm in charge of that delegation. So we will have delegation from West African countries, which we are going to have a business trip for young people from um, maybe um, Togo down to Nigeria, but we are going to cover many African countries. So this is what we do at Swift Entrepreneurs Africa. We have business training certification programs, and we also link um, student entrepreneurs to funding organizations. We have a partnership with Due Room. We have certain partnership, just like what we are doing with um, Youth Youth Up um, Global. We are about to um, sign an MOU that will help us to expand our activities, share content, build um, the capacity of young students and youth. Young leaders across and entrepreneurs as well across Nigeria. So these these are many more how we do, and I'm just giving a brief summary of what we do. But if you check our website swiftentrepreneurs.org, you can you can find out what we do there. Then um, my on um, on LinkedIn Ediomi Udo, you can find me there. I will drop my links and everything here on the chat group. And um, we are open to collaborations. We we want to we want to you know have um, a network. We are looking forward to campus directors, um, country directors as well for Swift Entrepreneurs Africa. Since we are expanding to other countries, other universities, and this is a wonderful opportunity. Whoever that can reach out to us, whoever if you need help, whatever we can do to you know grow. Your, your organization in terms of knowledge sharing, capacity building, content, whatever you can do. Maybe you need um, people to support the organization. You need, you need um, representatives because from our network, we can, we can actually get people to promote your brand. And these are many more are what we do and we are looking forward to um, healthy relationships. And that's why we have opportunities and um, platforms like this. So um, I would like to stop here and we can continue the conversation on LinkedIn or via mail. Thank you so much. Thank you. So the next person, Please, like he says, if you have questions for him, kindly channel it on the um, chat box. The next presenter would be, this one is extremely interesting, the name alone. <laughs> I can't help but smile. Talkative Africa. And by name, Scott Peters Itepu. He's the founder of Talkative Africa. Please yeah, have so 10 I'm... minutes. <laughs> the name is unbelievably we're making, we're making, amazing. We're making, hello, we're making it five minutes for each speaker. Please, we can accommodate others. We are running out of time. Five minutes okay. and you're not done. We can move on, please. Thank you. Cut five minutes, five minutes, All right? right? No Every other information you can put on the chat box. OK. Okay, so uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, or good evening, everyone, since we are from different time zones across the world. Uh, my name is Scott Peters, Itepo, and I am the founder for um, Talk Active Africa. So I will share my screen. I don't know. Oh. I think that's been disabled, right? Well, I can try. Not sharing our screen anymore, please. Sorry. Okay, no problem. We, we, have, right, we, have, so, we have issues here, please. All right. Okay, so um, Talk Active Africa is a social impact organization that is focused on aiding social impact visibility for for okay for individuals and organizations across Africa. Yeah, 
So for individuals and organizations across Africa. And um, the name, yes, is quite interesting, like uh, was said before. Talk active means speaking should be actionable. In the sense that whatever we are saying that we can do from our passions, we should be able to activate it in trying to better the community and the society as well. So next. So Toyota Africa is a social impact brand committed to a social impact visibility for individuals and organizations across Africa. So we are a media-based non-governmental organization advocating the SDG 17, which is a partnership for the other goals and to allow works, you know, to allow works of communities and individuals that have been, you know, impacting their communities to be seen and shared and also to aid partnerships, you know, from uh, across different social impact individuals. And our mission is to aid social impact visibility for individuals and organizations across Africa, and also to be the leading social impact media brand across Africa. So what exactly do we do? We, like I said, we share stories of organization, we share stories of individuals that we give more visibility and more audience to uh, these people that are changing their world. And it came as a result, I think about two, three years ago, in 2018, where I you know, felt that my mates and friends were kind of doing too much and they were not still seen. So the social impact uh, community was underappreciated because a lot of persons were doing things that were not seen. People knew you know, less about their actions and their activities. So that was all prompted this organization to share stories and um, actions that people are taking to uh, better their environment. And also, can anybody hear me? Yes, we can. We can oh, hear you loud and clear. So yes, uh, this is our sample. This is a sample of our newsletter, our e-newsletter that we design weekly, monthly to share our stories. So I just want to zoom into this. So what we do is we collect stories from you know, organizations and we compile them. So here there are headlines here, just like a mini newsletter. So yes, this is one of our current projects as of uh, now. So let me just stop sharing my screen and I'll move on with the other part of the presentation. So yeah, thank you. So yeah, so now currently at Talk Active, or previously at Talk Active Africa, we carried out some projects, uh, multiple projects over the years, especially during the COVID-19 period, as during the lockdown. We carried out COVID, COVID impact series, we carried out founder stories, and we also recently carried out um, social impact round table discussion, that's impact conversations, where we gathered founders across of different non-governmental organizations, different social impact organizations to share their stories currently of where they are and how they are making change. In the bid to you know, share solutions, in the, in the, in the bid, uh, bid to share solutions, across each other to aid transfer of learning. And uh, currently, we are also working on communities, building communities for founders, for social impact individuals, for chain makers, so that they can interact. Because yes, the fact that yes, we solve, we try solving the problem of visibility, but at the same time, we are now currently trying to solve the problem of connectivity to bring people together. And yes, our, Communities ID Live, Social Impact Committee on uh, Facebook is the Facebook group. I'm also looking forward to uh, more projects like the Connecting Founders Project and also the Social Impact Series, where people will be sharing their stories. So we're all about story sharing, storytelling, and also providing. Okay, so and to provide grounds for partnership. So that's the, those are these uh, amazing things we do at Talk Active Africa. And thank you so much uh, for the privilege and thank you, Dr. Faith, for the opportunity as well. Thank you so much to everyone at YouTube. Thank you. Thank you, Scott.
So if you have questions whatsoever, you want to connect with them um, talkative, chat box is open for you. The next presenter is from Nigeria. Her name is Goodness Mwachuku. She's the founder of Cherry's, Cherry's Black Project. Is she here? Hello? No. Is goodness available? Or should I move to the next presenter? Let's move to the next presenter, thank you. Okay. The next presenter is Andrew Zapka. Is she available, please? She's the founder of Global Empowerment. Android is not, a, Android is not available. You can move over to Ficadu. OK, the next person, the next presenter would be Mr. Rohit Bakala from India. He's the founder and convener of Council for Transforming India. It's not available, please. Okay, that's all the list I have. Any other person that I'm not aware of? You have Fikadu, Fikadu Rata. He, he was supposed to join us on the panel list, but he has time to comment on his social impact for his organization. Bicado, Bicado, no, I don't. So are we done with the panel discussions now? So while I check out for Bicado, Trevio. Yes, the, we are done with the questions, the panel discussion and the different organizations for social impact. So what? Ficadu will give us uh, the final speech on the uh, social impact in organizations. And then I can we'll see Ficadu. Our... He's um, one of those, um, one, one of the panelists. I can see him, Ficadu. I can see him, yeah, I can yeah. see his screen, I can see his photo. I... Can you hear me? I no? can see you. He's there. So, Shrevia, nice to meet you, sir. Nice to meet you, all of you, also. Can you hear me? Loud and Can you hear me? Clear. Loud and clear. OK, thank you very much. This is Fakadu from Ethiopia. I'll briefly uh, present about what we do. And then uh, I'm happy to answer your questions. I am teaching at Hawassa University in South Ethiopia. I'm also founder and general manager of the Youth and Education Support Service Ethiopia, which we call a Yes Ethiopia. And we started to address the issue of unemployment of uh, university graduates. I have a lot of students who have no job after they finish. So as a teacher, it's, this is very painful to witness. So uh, me and my friends, we started this nonprofit to challenge the biggest challenge the country is facing. So we are uh, working for uh, securing employment or on business for graduates. Also, we want to improve the education quality in Ethiopia. And uh, uh, we maybe just to make it clear about the context of social enterprise in Ethiopia, we can either be a business or a nonprofit. We don't have a social enterprise registration system in the country. So we have to be only a nonprofit. And since we started during the past two years, we uh, managed to <clears throat> see that there is a huge potential among the young people. Even if they sound uh, not that much skillful or not that much prepared for the job market, but when they get the opportunity with responsible mentorship and guidance, they deliver. And that's the story we learned in Ethiopia. And we are also <clears throat> uh, networking and bridging the communication between the senior people and the young people in the country by connecting them with 
professional associations and uh, by giving them free service opportunities. So we say in Ethiopia or in all parts of the world, there can be unemployment without payment, but everybody can have something to do if you consider free services and internship opportunities. So we say in Amharic, which means no one should be idle for the whole day. Uh, at least they could do a free service, you know? So what we think about the job market usually from the only payment or business point of view is sometimes misleading or not the right way to approach serving the community. So we, we learn it a lot by serving the society, by bringing the young people across to the most needy parts of the country because the university graduate can support by knowledge and by experiences and by energy, by giving their time, especially for orphanage centers and the like. So uh, that's what we, we do. And we are really uh, motivated by what we do. After we started, initially, we are not sure, like if the young people are ready to work or if we can manage to see some progress. But now we are really more than happy about what we, we do. And we, we are really eager also to learn from other countries, especially what are the ways to make social enterprise system work in Ethiopia, and also experiences to learn from each other about innovatively starting jobs and connecting young people with international employers and exploring across border employment opportunities. These are like some of the things we want to hear from you. And I really thank the organizers for giving us this chance and for inviting me to, to present about yes, Ethiopia. Thank you very much. You're welcome, sir. Ro Rohiti, Rohiti is around from, from, from India. The one that you, you called before, before uh, Fikadu, um, the moderator, please take note. He, he can feature and present for his company five, for his organization, five minutes. Then we. Who is that? Rehati of uh, uh, Vakrala from India. Okay, please, Vakrala Rehati, please go on and present to us your social impact highlights, if you can hear me. The uh, yes, I can you. hear you. I can hear you. Yes. Hi, good evening, everyone. Uh, this is Rohit Vakrala here. Uh, I lead an NGO called the Council for Transforming India and I'm from the Hyderabad, uh, Telangana estate in India. So I, I lead an NGO called Council for Transforming India. Council for Transforming India is a youth run organization based out of Hyderabad and working across all the states uh, in India. So the uh, concept behind the Council for Transforming India, I just want you, I want to take you all through this background of our organization, then the works and the impact we created. Uh, so I, I, from basically from my schooling age, uh, I have been into a peaceful movement for a statehood, for a separate state formation in the uh, for a state in the country, India. So there is a state called Andhra Pradesh and my region where I used to live is uh, called Telangana. Telangana, so we wanted a separate state in the Union of India. So from very, they, this moment was going uh, from very long, uh, almost from six decades or so. So when I was in schooling, my seventh standard, eighth standard, uh, this moment went to peaks. So then I, I naturally got into the, along with uh, uh, many others, Mm, I got into the movement and then started working for the people of my state. So naturally by uh, for 2014, the state was achieved. And then uh, uh, followed by like uh, uh, the people who uh, are associated with me in the peaceful movement, we led the state statehood movement, uh, were uh, got into various positions in the government. Uh, advising, advising the government or the special officers in, in various capacities they were uh, uh, with the government. So whatever the state we wanted, whatever the state we dreamed, we achieved and the responsibility of uh, uh, full-fledging all the promises we made to the people uh, uh, were uh, in front of us. So uh, many friends of mine, uh, associates in the movement got into the various capacity of the government, advising the government. So naturally, 
with every all the circle is into oh, goes, advising the government uh, talking on the various public policy matters and all uh, my interest towards public policy linked with public uh, uh, maintaining the public connection continued so i i started working with government uh, in policy matters and also with non governmental organizations various non governmental organizations so there for example say i worked with some organizations who worked exclusively on uh, water so there is some organizations exclusively working on the school education uh, uh bring up the quality in the school education sector there are a uh, uh, few organizations where i worked with uh, uh, com comes from the background of working for the human trafficking so so there, there is like i i got an opportunity to explore multiple uh, uh, fields uh, by associating with various people uh, then uh, when i was uh, starting up the when i was trying to pull youth of uh, uh, youth from graduation level to in the social making some social impact uh, there was some gap between where the students want to work and the what organizations does see if i am associated with a organization working on water uh, some environment issues i should just work on that issue so whenever a opportunities whenever a idea stuck in my mind relating to some other organization i should start working with that organization from the scratch so i can't take up the idea which come to my mind uh, in the other vertical so then we started there should be a uniform platform working on multiple aspects uh, giving an opportunity to youth social platform giving opportunity to youth uh, to promote to take up the ideas to discuss with the policy makers to take it into public uh, in multiple verticals so then uh, uh, with group of people i started this uh, platform called uh, council for transforming india uh, with like some seven eight people uh, around me who, who were expertise in uh, environmental issues as i told you just the various uh, subjects uh, policy matters government affairs uh, international affairs etc so each one of us try to contribute uh, to the society uh, with a common name uh, organization name called council for transform india that's how council for transforming india a ngo cti organization uh, came into lime light uh, from 2017 so then we started actually working on some impactful initiatives uh, with uh, uh, various uh, stakeholders then at the, the as i told you just before the gap between the uh, when we try to bridge the gap, we, we could able to bridge this gap between the youth who wanted to make some impact and uh, a few organize Uh, organizations limiting to some particular uh, vertical would not able to uh, bridge this gap so this this gap was bridged between uh, by council for transform india then we spread across universities across the states in all over india we had volunteers we had and we had a special program for people who who actually can't work on ground but uh, uh, it's kind of like work from home work from home covid like situation make us work from home but uh, we we would do this uh, uh, work earlier itself uh, council for transform india used to give internships to students who they they would work remotely in their semester all days or even during the college days from their universities their, their hostels uh, they used to work so we, we used to make them work especially there there used to be some law students who uh, uh, used to help us who helps us with the policy matters research work policy matters and ideas to take up uh, drafting content development and all so this is how we try to involve um, as many possible youth as possible to in the uh, making some impactful activities so just for example if we we, we always uh, uh, tried working both on ground on ground activism and also on the table and uh, i mean uh, on table bole to working with governments working with various policy holders state governments central governments like uh, i may be i am sure many of you may be knowing the uh, policy framework and the uh, overall setup uh, how governments work in india so so we from council for transform india at various levels i uh, started working with both governments say state central uh, so that the uh, uh, everything uh, the uh, up to the ground root level activism so based on this activism i just want to quote few works done by our organization 
for example, there was this uh, 150th birth anniversary of Mahatma Gandhi. Uh, if I can share you the screen. Uh, ex Astrayas or someone, the other host, can you please enable the screen sharing option to me? I just want to show the photograph. Okay, um, while you wait, if Kenneth may allow you for screen sharing, you have just two minutes, actually. You have exhausted yes. your time, actually. Yes. Okay, yes. so you just take note. Thank you. Yes. So if you can just uh, uh, see this uh, message from Honorable Prime Minister of India, uh, where we got for an initiative that we launched in the 2019 uh, on the Quit India Day in the month of August, uh, we, we launched a, that was the 150th birth anniversary year of uh, Mahatma Gandhi, the father of nation. So we, we thought of uh, uh, making youngsters of this nation uh, once again go through the concepts what Mahatma Gandhi just did. It's not just his life autobiography, but his ideas. So then we thought of uh, bringing up a iterating contest on the Gandhian perspective of development on the 150th anniversary. This is what uh, we, we received from the Honorable Prime Minister of India. So likewise, uh, there are many other initiatives uh, that uh, we, we took up and that uh, uh, made much more impact. The Whatever the con uh, contest I was telling you was pre-COVID. Actually, it was in 2019. There was no COVID. But still, we made this contest online. So techno using technology, may, um, using little with the little resources, using technology, we try to make more impactful activities. And there is one initiative just that I just want to uh, uh, share with you guys, uh, other than the background and all, so that uh, my time may be also completing. Uh, we, we we used to also work on this road safety work, road safety awareness programs then uh, uh, we we the wherever whatever the research we do uh, we come to know that there is some uh, gap between the accident when an accident occurs road safety both it's not only just uh, what have what we teach them to wear helmet to wear seat belt etc but also the uh, post accident if there is a post accident uh, there was an accident the treatment given to the accident victim also comes. The, uh, the strategies we make, the, the workouts we make uh, as a government institutions and also as uh, uh, partners in this civil society, uh, the treatment we give them is also part of the road safety. So then we thought there is some gap between the accident victim being transferred to this, uh, the nearest hospital or the first aid center, primary health center, and uh, being treated. So why these gaps comes? So they, they, whatever the size of the accident may be, there may be at least a little uh, blood loss. So to, to give the any other kind of treatment, the first major important thing is the blood flow in the body should be appropriate. So this blood loss makes other treatments difficult. So the, then we thought that uh, uh, mapping, uh, testing the blood group, mapping it and giving the, the blood group may take some time. So why don't this person, this person will not be in the conscious state. So what? Then we thought driving license, there is an option in the driving license of uh, Union of India to have a blood group, but it is not being mandatory. That was an optional column. Naturally, when we fill up the application forms, uh, being optional column, we leave it because people, few of them know their blood group, they don't know and they just don't uh, give a damn to it and they just leave it. So when this accident occurs, if your blood group is known, that they, they, it can bring down at least the gap of two hours come down. So then we thought uh, this policy matter to take with the governments, uh, we, we tried doing that and uh, we have a uniform driving license across India, one nation, one car. Let's write, you may have to summarize um, so that we can move in. Yes, 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 I'm doing this. So this is how we work. Uh, so Council for Transform India works from both policy level to the uh, on-road, ground-road activism. So we, we, we also like uh, looking forward to work with uh, South Asian team, uh, so that uh, many proposals are being with uh, done with the Shreyas. Uh, we, we had a discussion two, uh, two, three weeks back. So we are coming up uh, 
work we are looking forward to work together uh, in making like making a difference uh, with little resources but we always our uh, ideas go for the uh, making more impact uh, so that's how the council for transforming india details and all thank you thank you for the opportunity you're welcome at this time we would have to take um a 10 minute stretch uh, you would agree with me all of us need this so see you in 10 minutes please and we have an interesting one more thing very interesting that you wouldn't want to miss when we come somewhere in offer dear little young girl a princess To be a profitable trader because what we've seen in most I want to tell you a story. I love somewhere in offer, dear little young girl, a princess. Okay, um, welcome. Uh, I'm sure we've had time to stretch. We needed to have that, uh, give that time. And we just have one interesting, I think you saw the video um, about the animation video and we have someone stand by to, to handle that. Vivian, are you here? Um, you, can take, you can take over for me, please. Thank you. Uh, um, to introduce the founder of Aruba and uh, animation that we just watched now too. Just use uh, five minutes maximum to, to talk about the, the project. Okay. So the name is David Oreolua, CEO and co-founder of Aroba Animation Global Resources Limited. Okay, thank you so much, everybody. Um, You're welcome. So I had to wait um, by the road to take this, um, to, 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 to have my own time here because I've been waiting for a while now. And um, thank you so much for the privilege to speak um, here. And um, like you can see, we are uh, Aroba Animation. What we do basically is we 
create 3D animated movies, as we can all see that in Africa, animation is actually, um, animation production is at infant stage in the film industry. So we pick up this tax, this tax to do what to produce 3D superhero movies um, of um, our legends, the right stories about Africans, trying to reshape and reimagine African story in most of our film. And um, the first movie we'll be doing now is, uh, is tied to the Morini, and that's the, the trailer we, we all just watched the other time. So it will be coming on soon. The premiere will be coming on to next month. And we have lots of package for people that will be um, joining us to premiere this movie. And um, yes. another thing is that um, we will be grateful to, you know, to work with youth to, to, to ensure that we have social impact in the economy by you know, employing a good number of youth and making this a reality. Producing movie and preserving African culture is what we stand for. Thank you so much for the privilege. Thank you. Thank you, Oreoluwa, <laughs> David. Thank you for that short presentation. We look forward for the premiere of your movie. Where is it going to be premiere? And um, can you hear me? Yes, I can. It will be premiered at um, Ogo State in Nigeria. Okay. Yes, okay. OPL, it's a cinema, cinema, yeah. A cinema in Ogun State? Yes, yes. Okay, and later on you'll work on probably bringing it to um, yeah. Silverbeck and all the rest yeah, of them. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. We, we will work with um, Aruba Animation, um, YouTube Global, and we we'll yeah. continue, continue our discussions to see how we Great. can also support you with Great. the right visibility and contact Great. that you need. I love the concept telling this Great. African story this, this way, Great. interesting way. So Great. we are going to, um, Vivian, under your permission, please, um, we, are, we are going to have the next, which is the last section for, for this summit. It, uh, you talk continental um, social impact highlights. There are two cont continents that we are key our uh, key project revolves around as I was making my opening speech. These um, two continents are Africa and Asia. So I'm going to ask the um, African um, uh, African presenter who is Gatoni Kungu. She's the regional director for East Africa, and she's also the director for education and training um, with Utah Global. She's going to do a, a highlight of social impact projects that Utah Global for the African community has done. Immediately after her, um, PPA House will, will conduct for the, um, and Saludi uh, would, would handle for, for the Asian community. Um, uh, Gatwadi, I'm giving you right to, to mute. Go ahead. Uh, good Please. evening, everyone. Sorry, I know Hi, that you're coming. Hi, Gatwadi. Hi, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. Thank Please you. go on. You can also clearly. Yes, we can. Okay, excellent. Um, so I just wanted to give some key highlights on behalf of Africa. Um, uh, we launched the Innovate Africa October last year a collaborative project between USAP Global and other organizations geared towards addressing the problem of youth unemployment in Africa. Part of that project has given rise to a recent collaboration between USAP Global and Covenwealth, a US digital skill training firm where a thousand African youth are to be trained and empowered in order to bridge the increasing skill gap among African youth and to address the youth unemployment. We are also in partnership with the Kibia Institute, the fastest growing business school in Africa, where hundreds of young people across Africa have benefited and uh, through studying for free through our collaboration. Um, another aspect of what we are doing, we are currently working with EBOC, an e-commerce platform in Nigeria to provide skill acquisition training for artisans, mainly in uh, shoe production. 
across other African countries within our networks are also partnering with social impact driven organizations to continuously provide empowerment platforms for youth through capacity building workshops and webinars to upskill them. So that's some of the things that we are doing in Africa with uh, other African countries and other partners in collaboration. And uh, as youth are global, you know that we're still growing. So this is just the beginning. Thank you. Thank you so much um, from, from Daltoni who spoke about the African community highlight on social impact. And that was a very brief one. Um, which is which is uh, commendable based on our time. Um, so we would want to quickly hoping that Trade House will be very um, short in his presentation for the Asian community, um, so we can uh, wrap up the the, the summit. Um, over to you, um, Trade House. Thank you, thank you, Doctor Faith. Greetings, everyone. Uh, I'm not able to switch on my camera. Is there that's being disabled? If I may understand. Yes, um, because we're having we've issues. Been having, we've been having um, some funny people we're having trying to, issues. Um, Will I be able trying to, uh, yes, I be able to, trying to give us a bad day, but then we, we're bigger okay. than that. Yeah, go ahead. So you, we are good with your voice. Okay, I'll be able to share my screen. I have two important things to show. So that may be, if that can be considered, please. Yes. Yeah, okay. Maybe towards the, okay, cool. Yes, yes. All right, so uh, considering that I have 10 minutes, I'll keep it very short for all of you. Greetings, I'm the South Asia Regional Director and Asian Community Coordinator for Youth Up Global. Um, it's been a year of association with the organization and uh, Dr. Faith has been a brother to me, being from Asia, connecting down, getting an international exposure for me and my you know, office present over here. I am my country lead, Karthike and Bharatwaj, and also uh, Naveen Chandra, the director, uh, at the South Asia office is being present here today. So taking forward, uh, we started off all that, you know, it was during the pandemic when we wanted to focus on technology and uh, bringing about innovations post pandemic. And then we wanted to, you know, focus on the lines of what Youth of Global does on the lines of United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. These are to be achieved by the UNDP in the year 2030. And keeping these, we have been working on several projects. Uh, I would love to introduce you all. So let me take you all through a quick uh, video that talks about the South Asia community in short. And then I'll be having a small presentation on some activities. And then I will have Mr. Naveen taking over to cover on an important component, followed by another video of our expansion. So I'll start sharing my screen quickly, just that we don't share uh, mean. I hope uh, the screen is visible and I can, the audio is also visible. Is the screen and audio visible? Can I get a yes, please? Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Okay.
I hope you all got a, a small brief about what we do and how we are being connected and making a presence on the community of Instagram, which is uh, you know in the name of Youth Up South South Asia. When we got our encouragement by a beloved president, Doctor Faye, to go forward, apart from being on LinkedIn as well. So as I said, we have been doing some you know rigorous projects, especially connecting with the youth in universities on the lines of technology management, entrepreneurship, and sustainability. As we have some key projects and partnerships coming up, we have tied up with um, you know Sairam Institution and also uh, the Maharaja's Institute of Technology in the south of India. We have been working closely with the country lead, Mr. Karthik and Bharatwaj, who is being present over here in today's summit. And uh, we have been giving sessions for the first time. We are creating a mark with uh, data analytics students and data science students in inculcating the concept of liberal arts and management forward to them. And the students have found these sessions quite unique with diverse backgrounds because we have a very holistic way and holistic presentations that are being put forward. And uh, moving on to the next, we are also having our Innovate Asia. We are preparing for that. Right out of in, after Innovate Africa, I'm expecting my dear brother, Dr. Faith, and all my African friends and friends from different countries over here to come down to India at Sadna Forest in Oroville to uh, you know come and see what we have been doing. We have been meeting several diplomats in various cities like uh, uh, Mr. J. Shranjan, the IT secretary to the government of Telangana, and also a uh, minister of um, you know six portfolios at a small uh, city like Pondicherry, a union territory, which is more of a French community. So we have been creating you know and enhancing a benchmark on the landmark of such universities forward. Uh, before I take over uh, several words and I go forward, I would like a doctor. I would like Mr. Naveen from my South Asia office to cover a little on what we are planning to tap on on the Asian youth post pandemic and how are we looking at this crystallization forward. Naveen, I would look forward to a presentation from you on a brief one. Yeah, sure. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, I think again, I'm not able to come on a video. Please. Please go ahead, it's fine. Yes. Okay. So um, today, everyone, see, uh, uh, as, as um, you know, uh, we are, got it. Yes, I think I'm visible to everyone. I can see my face. Yeah. Yes, we can see so, you. Yeah. <laughs> hey, good day, Ahon. Um, see, uh, COVID-19 has transformed uh, life as uh, we know it, impacting us uh, personally, academically, as well as uh, personally. So as the world, uh, uh, begins the slow and steadiness uh, process of learning how uh, to re reopen safely. Uh, the business and communities like us you know, um, are looking to a leader for guidance to help navigate this pandemic with the success. Um, while some may view uh, some of uh, things like you know uh, these uh, strains of coronavirus as a, a major uh, roadblock, I see it as an opportunity for companies to have a fresh start, forcing uh, to optimize their performance and uh, you know, uh, their vision through progressive ideas as well as on an innovation. So we aim to form um, an environment designed to boost leadership skills that will change uh, lives and you know, the community. So we'll, uh, we will be continue to help shape today's youth into becoming a tomorrow's yeah, that's what uh, the one thing which majorly we are concentrating at this moment as an opportunity for uh, younger generation to make um, you know um, a, a difference in their uh, communities uh, if you want to establish a strong career in post academic world you need to have a strong willpower to keep going and keep upgrading the skills according to the need of the hearts so the economic and profession uh, situation of the business world is, uh, you know, uh, barely trying to survive upon that. Uh, even highly qualified and uh, experienced people, after it, of losing their job, um, getting a new job for freshers, it, it, it itself it's like you know nightmare. So such a hard uh, circumstance. It is again, you know, uh, it is natural to. Sorry, it is again natural for us to feel kind of a loss. So there is the uh, only way to survive and uh, establishing a strong, uh, you know, foothold in the post-pandemic uh, uh, world. So be prepared for change. Keep upgrading as per the demand. 
and uh, this is exactly where utap uh, would be playing a major role and uh, we will be enhancing the leadership skills in each and every young person that we are focusing and um, creating a leadership uh, and skill development programs uh, provide capacity building programs towards addressing youth unemployment in asia connecting opportunities to young people in asia and uh, promoting a global exchange programs with within the youth com youth of community and uh, the world again yeah is uh, stepping into a digital creative environment and hence our strategy here is to adapt and uh, create an impact on the audience in in a unique uh, style so that is what uh, the things which we are highly focusing as of now from uh, south asia any anything else uh, uh, you'd like to ask in ask me or uh, put an ad on it i'll be taking it forward from here and uh, yeah. say that i would like to present one video on our expansion after one year of focus that intense focus what we have been doing on india right now we have a next country where our train has reached that is nepal i'd like to show my country uh, my countries india and nepal the rich heritage south asia carries and the asian community does have something to depict at this global level today so i'll be sharing a i'll be sharing my screen again for another video that would be a quick one that would be the end of our video presentations as a quick wrap up uh, i would like to say that you know we have some events lined up and certain summits uh, this month being participating in the global summit of for social impact at the same time we are also going to have we are having the summit by with 3k sutantra and uh, institutions innovation council and more academies which is a hrd ministry initiative a part of government of india we are participating in a huge south india conference on academic uh, level based and at the same time we are also you know looking forward uh, to have more cultural shows in the upcoming days as well and i would love to share more about uh, south asia please do visit us and i would love to get in touch for further collaborations on going about and looking forward to see you all soon and um, thank you so much for this opportunity dr faith uh, and a great uh, moderation forward by vivian and the team thank you so much everyone thank you so much um gp share has for that presentation for the asian community um i love your leadership i love how you you carry your team along um that's that's a very commendable um quality of leadership and then we are also glad with the uh, outcomes and your footprints in the asian uh, asian space uh, gentlemen and ladies um we want to start by saying thank you 22 participants stayed put to to the end of our summit 
um, Youth of Global Summit for Social Impact 2022, which is our second anniversary. Um, we are grateful for all of you who have stayed put till the end of this session. This is a this is a long hour section that started 11 a.m. Uh, West African time, ending almost 5 p.m. Um, West African time. That's that's about six seven hours of stretch. Uh, for someone to sit down in a place for that number of hours. Uh, is something that is commendable. Thank you so much for believing in what we are doing, for supporting us, for, for, the, for the collaboration, the team, the effort, everybody you know, supported this and we've been able to put this out today. And I'm sure a whole lot of um, insight has been gained, knowledge has been shared, all, and the, the whole discussion about mindset, and everything thereof. Please, let's go all out, you know, um, fully impacted and begin to impact others and begin to make things happen. Except you start, nothing gets done. That is, that is the truth. So you start, don't wait till it is perfect before you start. It is when you start, you will keep modifying, you keep adjusting until you get it right. Utop is in a mission to become the largest um, social impact driven um, social enterprise connecting youth and organizations um, globally and we have started um, in this in this uh, part and we appreciate all the collaboration all the support from both organizations and individuals alike thank you you can follow us all through on our social media on, on linkedin on facebook on instagram on twitter um, all questions about uh, that you that you have for our partners that presented and all that, we are going to make sure that we find a way to communicate and also get our partners to communicate through us. You could also write them the ones that drop their emails. Um, follow us who will also be updating based on the results of this summit. There will be some actions that will be taken post um, this global summit, which will also be in the know as we begin to communicate. Next year, this is going to be a yearly, um, an annual event. It's not going to be this too long. We had a whole lot of programs and we just didn't want to do a two-day program. We wanted it a day program, so that's why it's so jam-packed the way it takes off. Well, we appreciate the fact that we were able to accommodate all our items and fix all the items. And even when the distraction came, all of you stayed put and we were able to surmount it because even the mindset teachings um, that are preachings and the courage and the determination and the commitment that I remember um, uh, Roland spoke about for leaders to be committed and not to be distracted. You see, um, as soon as those things, as soon as we finished this presentation and then down the line, we started seeing those funny, funny videos. They, are, they have nothing to do with YouTube. It has nothing to do with any of our people. Um, I, I'm sure these are very, uh, strange, these are just very strange materials um, that, that enter the space. I and mean, you, you guys know the space we are in. Some people want to be very funny um, with any little opportunity that they get. But this has also given us an insight, at least from the IT aspect, to monitor our, our video sharing um, rights in any time we're having this, you know, this big um, garden where different kind of people with different level of orientation would be participating. But I must have to give it to you guys to, to have stayed and knock off that negative energy and still continue with the positive vibes till the, till the very end. Um, I'm so grateful and I'm humbled that we called and you answer. I would then um, give uh, Kenneth degree, um, time to make a few comments and then we would be wrapping up from there. Kenneth degree, if you can hear me, um to make a few comments based on our summit thanking our appreciating our guests our participants um also appreciating once you're done i will also uh, maybe make one or two comments and that is it Hold on. Hold on. Larry, off on our floor. To... yes can it Okay, um, Kenneth, I'm not able to hear. I don't know whether I'm the only one. 
um, but I'm not able to hear. Uh, if I want to start calling the names of people I see here, uh, Roland, you stayed put. Thank you very much, right from the beginning till now. Thank you. Um, thank you, Sutra Tra. Thank you, Sherry House. Thank you, Bethel Amade. Thank you. I remember you you were here right from the beginning. Um, Udaja Chukubuka, well done. You are the guys that made it happen to talk about this summit that made it to be heard. Um, Isaac Sin Okoko, thank you so, so much for being here right from the beginning. Vivian, you are the one that have made it happen, anchoring this session from the beginning till now. Um, don't worry, I'm going to buy you a very strong, cold beer. If you take beer, if you don't take beer, I'll buy you, um, I'll buy you, I'll buy you Coke. Uh, you thank you all the way from Ethiopia. You did, mm -hmm. you did well to show us your face and then tell us what your organization does for young people. They are the brain behind our graphics, helping us to bring out our content in graphic form. Sado is the chief that is behind the branding of YouTube Global. They are the one that makes it easy for our social media to keep running. Isaac Bukala, thank you for staying put. We appreciate it. He got uh, Katik, uh, Katik, thank you. Um, the country lead for country rep for India. This man made um, a lot of effort to see that uh, people from the Indian community were represented today. And um, thank you so much for that. Um, working with uh, Shrey House and the team. Thank you, Shrey for staying put as an anchor and co moderator for this program. Fred Branson, you have been here from the beginning. Thank you. I appreciate Jeffrey. Fire. Thank you, Jimmy. Thank you, Abib Yemisa. Thank you for being here. That our uh, country right from Ethiopia. Thank you for staying put. Um, Boker there. Thank you so so much. I I just wish we we'll all continue to stay here to look at our faces. To but then uh, time will not time will not permit. I must have to allow you guys to go. Um, is Kenneth able to hear me now? And can I hear him? So I just want to hear his voice. He's been a very strong partner with YouTube Global, with his team, what he does at uh, Cadilla and all the things that he does. I just wanted him to share a few things. Yes, Kenneth, can I hear you? Um, I don't know what I'm doing. Vivian, are you able to hear Kenneth? I don't know what I'm doing. No, I can't hear him also. I can't okay. hear him. I don't know so, why. Um, so Kenneth, you could just maybe drop your message on Kenneth. Um, charts um so gentlemen and ladies um Hello, can Shiva, yes okay yes. i can hear him now yes yes my apologies <laughs> all right my apologies so uh thank you very much dr faith Mobi. i appreciate you so much for the opportunity and i appreciate everyone who stayed put it's been a very long one but i think it's been worth it and i certainly was inspired by all the amazing things that social entrepreneurs are doing all around the world. And you can see that, um, um, yes, yeah, good photo, that's a good idea. Um, you can see that uh, it's truly global. Uh, it's truly global what we've done today. We've had people from Ethiopia, India, South Asia, Africa, everywhere, and people are doing awesome things. And I was very impressed with some of the things I saw here. And um, thank you, Dr. Faith Mobia. Thank you to the YouTube team. And thank you, Vivian. and. Several for making it an awesome outing. Very much appreciated. Thank you, everyone. Thank so, you. Uh, Dr. Faith, some um, Sado requested that we take a please. Photo. Let's do. Yeah, let's do that. I'm opening my video. Let's all th those that stayed put to the end. Let's yeah. open our video also to take um, a group picture. It's not a bad idea. Um, so that Dr. we can. Uh, I'm unable to, uh, you know, keep my video on. It's been blocked. It says uh, 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 I'm going to enable it allow, very quick, uh, very quickly. Uh, yeah. enable, it, enable it quickly so that people can just show their faces. And then, yes, these are very, these are heroes that stayed put I to the end. I think someone it's is not, in the waiting room who wants to be a part of the group picture. Can that person not, let him in? It's not easy. Like, yes, um, I don't want to admit someone that will begin to give us trouble. <laughs> okay. okay. Let's see. <laughs> Okay, um, I'm sure. Okay, good. I don't know the name of the other person that, that is in the waiting room. Mm. So, have we taken the group picture now? Just, just one minute. Uh, so, everybody, video on. Uh, Jeffrey, I don't see your video. 
Now, please, let's have our video on Brad, 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 uh, Brad, Fred, Brad, we don't see, Kat, we don't see. Um, okay. Here, what is joining, I don't know. Um, please, let's have our video on. Um, Bethel, no, your video is not on. Um, as as it's in, your video is not on. Hi, Ebuka. I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry, sir. Ebuka, Ebuka, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Fred, Brandon. Now, now it's, yes. Oh, sorry. Um, sorry about that. I, I, yes. I don't have my video on. And the one taking the picture, I didn't have my video on. Okay. Oh, now, now you, should, I you should show us your face. Yes, yes. Yes. Sorry about that. Uh, Just a minute, guys. <laughs> okay, Isaac Sim is telling us a minute, a minute, a minute, guys. It's coming. Yeah, good. Good to see your face. Good to see your face. 20 man standing. 20. Okay, 20 man woman standing. Women standing. Isaac son. The name is uh, uh, you get power. It's, it's actually I, it's actually Isaac Sin. So <laughs> Uh, oh, Isaac, Isaac, Isaac I love the name. I love yeah. the name. He carries my, da my dad. My dad tends to overdose things. Oh my God! He gave you <laughs> like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. <laughs> awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay. Yeah, you're bright. Yeah, I'm sure you have a bright uh, picture uh, in, uh, camera now. You can take the picture. Uh, just okay. There is okay, Ken. That there is okay. Um, he what? We can't see your face. Um. Kartik, we cannot see your face. Better, Fred, are you guys okay the way it is so that we can move on and take a good picture? Um, okay, so it's as if they are good the way they are. Um, let's go. All right, I just took one. Let me just take one more. And then we'll be done. Okay. Yeah, Brad said, let's see his face, finally. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry, Thank you. Sorry, Doc. Uh, I would love to connect with you. So I'm trying, I've tried to like follow you on LinkedIn. You know, you already have enough. I don't think you can accept connections any longer. No, no, no. send me a connection. I will accept. Once I see Isaac, I will follow. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. okay. I, I like no. it no more. I like it no more. Already. So let's All let's right, put no this thing. hand. Let's put this hand. Okay. Let's put this hand. This is you top, right? You talk, right? You talk. So we do it this way. You talk, right? So you talk. Okay. So you take this picture. It just as your own hand. You're gonna use one hand, <laughs> Kenneth. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Uh, have you taken enough? Yes, I, I think. Uh, okay. I think it's okay. Great, guys. Great, guys. Um, I appreciate this. I appreciate this stay input. We had we had around 56, 50 so, 57 or so. But at the end of the day, 20 persons were here at the end of the session for like six or seven hours. It's not a joke anywhere. It's not a joke. Some people will be having like five remaining or two or three remaining. For us to have up to 20, which of course could make a summit even. 20 can also make a summit. So for us to have 20 seated to the end of the day, bravo. Where to bravo, our mom, dad. <laughs> Bravo, guys. Bravo. So um, at this juncture, um, if you want to say anything, you can say anything based on your feedback or your the way. Just two, three minutes, you could say something. We can, we can accommodate that. Um, just have the stay before we, we close the section. Anything that maybe how you felt about the section or so or something. So you could you could use it. You could you could raise your hand and then we we'll give you give you time to, to express yourself. I think we, we have ended that today. Anybody having anything to say? Yeah, how they feel about the whole thing? That would be good. I, uh, healthy, healthy yeah, feedback. I, yes, okay. I will take I, I will take uh, I Isaac Sin. I will take Shay being the second after Isaac Sin. As it's go ahead. Then after you after you Shay. Okay. Um hello everybody. Um Thank you very much. I must say, I mean, this is just a math watching session. I, I, I saw myself being here since 11 a.m. and I haven't like taken my eyes off my phone, like to tell you how impactful and the authority that this conference carries. And um, I must say the, the most interesting part was having, um, 
Professor Ndugusi. I've been a big fan of him on LinkedIn. I read almost all his articles that he posts on LinkedIn. I've never heard him speak before, but today was just amazing. It was just amazing. I, I, I want to uh, really commend uh, the people that uh, put this um, summit together. I mean, great, great work, guys. Great, great dog, great work, guys. Great work, uh, Madam Vivian. And I also like to connect with you on LinkedIn, if you don't mind. Uh, <laughs> so I, I really appreciate you guys. Keep doing what you are doing. And um, maybe we can keep the conversation going. And I'm also looking forward to um, some collaboration because um, uh, I, I cur currently I'm with the Young African Leaders Initiative, uh, YALI. Uh, in Abuja here, so which is uh, really a youth hub where you have a lot of youth trying to, you know, uh, forge ahead and make certain decisions in life. So I, I look forward to connecting with you guys. Great, great work. Thank you. Yeah, as it said, that was a that was a great a great one. Thank you. We are all open for connection, and yeah. uh, you can always you can easily connect with, with us. Um, I I try to support as much as I can. Um, yeah. I love to see young people um, improve and and become better version of themselves. Share you your, your turn. Um, after she you will take uh, we take uh, come in. Share you go ahead. Let me I'll decide who please. Okay. I don't um, know how to a hug. Yeah. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. Yes, wow, 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 wow. It's, um, it's an amazing. It was. It's an amazing event. It's an amazing event. I. Really, really enjoyed every bit of it. So I must say, uh, Mr. Faith, you are doing a fantastic job. YouTube is a fantastic platform. And um, secondly, Mrs. Vivian, wow, you, <laughs> you are really, really, you are really, really amazing. Being the host for this uh, program, I think you've you've been speaking for like six hours straight. That's that's really amazing. I I would support Mr. Faith to buy you a bottle of. Uh, Pepsi after the event. I'm gonna buy, so, when I, after I buy Pepsi, you buy, you buy Fanta, right? So that it's, 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 so, um, <laughs> it's, been, it's been, so God, God continue to replenish you for the knowledge you are imparting mm -hmm. on the youth. It's mm -hmm. really amazing, Mr. Mm -hmm. Bates. Thank you, everybody that's um, actually done um, a lot in making this uh, event a success. It's, it was really a success. Like Mr. Faith said, having 20 participant, participants after a six hours event is a really, 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 is an amazing thing. So thank you everyone. Thank you for making this um, event a success. And we hope that um, what we are trying to achieve with the youth will come to pass in African countries and in Asian countries and in other countries beyond. Thank you very much. It's it's uh, it's Thank really you. an amazing. Thank you kindly. Please, any other person going to speak now? Please keep it at two three minutes so that we can leave. I don't want to keep us waiting anymore. Um, Thank you. I just I know that we want to say, say as much as we can, but then let's keep it uh, let's keep it simple and short. Um, so Shiva, what what do you have for us? Shiva, you've been talking. Hold on, hold on. You've been talking. Yeah. I think okay, Shiva, go ahead. I think any uh, other the two, the remaining two hands off. Um, okay, hold on, Shiva. Roland, Jeff, Ro Roland Jeffrey, and Gole. Jeffrey, Jeffrey hasn't said anything. No, Roland presented today. He's our speaker. Um, <laughs> uh, Sita is, is also has also spoken. Thank you, Sita has also spoken. So it's only Jeffrey that didn't say I'll come back to the to the ones um, up there. Yes, Jeffrey, you you have the you have the floor. I'm not able to okay, hear you. Uh, that's perfect. Can you hear me now? Clearly, clearly. Okay. okay. So I just want to thank uh, for organizing such amazing platform that we can meet to share experience and learn from each other. Um, I want to say that we in Liberia, we are solely committed uh, to making sure that we push your vision, the vision forward in Liberia, and I will make sure that we achieve collectively together. So again, I want to say thank you all so much. 
since we I said this is our own pin now, I can say maybe I will just uh, put in a little advice, uh, maybe to our our IT department. Uh, we will actually observe some things, some funny things that were you know actually not going well. But this is our own thing. Uh, we can try next time to better position ourselves uh, how to manage all our platform. Once again, thank you all so much, and we are open to work more. Thank you, Jeffrey. Uh, back to you. Um, back to you, Shiva. If you're here, you can make your comment, then we go to Roland, we go to um, take you, and then um, and then we conclude with uh, Sheha's analysis. So, Shiva, over to you. All right. Thank, thank you so much. I think the, the entire event was a good one and people share their insights well. And I have a lot of critiques for the summit that will help improve the other meetings and even the social gatherings that Utah Global is going to make. And I'll share the critiques and recommendations here with the Utah Global team. So that is all I have. Thank you so much. Okay, okay great. That's, that's, that's okay. Um, when we go when we go back, we will take it up from there. We will, we will have to open a, we have to open that chance to get feedback so that we can get better next time. Um, Roland, over to you. Yes, I'll be short, less than two minutes. So thank you very much, um, Dr. Fate, for this meeting, and thank you, um, Global, um, go and um, Youth Up Global team. And I just want to say that I'm listening to all these presentations and all these different participants. I mean, what I got from Youth Up Global, from LinkedIn and listening to you, Dr. Faith, the influence and impact you have is bigger than what I even thought. And I just want to I just want to um, um, thank you for all what you're doing and just say continue that good work. And in any form I can support, I am willing to support you, not just in Germany, anyhow I can support because it is my joy to be part of something big and something that is making an impact at this scale. So thank you very much for what you're doing and I'm really happy to be part of it. Thank you. Thank you kindly. Thank you kindly. I, I must say thank you kindly, most especially for being a... Uh, um, one of our guest speakers, the only guest speaker that is us, that is the last last guest speaker standing um, from all the speakers apart from in house. Thank you, thank you so so much for staying put to the end to the very end. Um, that's that's commendable, and I'll get I'll get in touch. We're always in touch about our collaboration, about our partnership. Definitely, we're going to do so much together. I love the vibe. I love the fact that you were able to defeat what would have been a distraction not to be here today to give us the insight you gave us to drop the things that you drop for these young people about leadership and impact. It was so mind blowing. Thank you that the setbacks, the medical issues, the whatever did not stop you to do that. I'm sure that when you started speaking, even COVID ran away from your body and and you and you were healed completely. And he who healed you, your healing is permanent and complete. That is that is the prayer, and I back it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Amen. 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 So, thank you so much, and then I go back. To, I come to you, took you soon. Tatra. If I didn't get yeah. you, please pardon me. <laughs> yeah, it's a sutantra. So sutantra meaning in the Sanskrit is uh, uh, information technology. So one of two the oldest. Minutes, two minutes, three, please. <laughs> okay. So one, uh, uh, Mr. Faith, uh, the, the effort which uh, which drive into this uh, event, it is very, very, very huge, and uh, yes, it is uh, very much appreciable. And I think that is one which everybody is, uh, you know, uh, got a very good uh, idea exchange program. I can say this is uh, from a global wise. And uh, since we are putting huge effort, yes, we also have to take a lot of learning out of this event, uh, which is going to helpful for our upcoming programs. So I think that is one which we should never miss out from this program. But what is our learning from as a leaders, we have to take out. So probably I list out those, uh, you know, uh, where, where we missed out. And I think, uh, you know, uh, we will certainly focus on those parameters in our upcoming programs.
programs. So that is one thing. And uh, the second one is, as I already said, this is the, for, for this event, the amount of energy which went inside, it is huge. It is literally, it is a huge and, and getting a speaker from different part of the world and putting them across a single platform, it takes a lot of effort. So that is one which very much appreciable for, for all the stakeholders of this uh, program. So happy to be yeah. part of this youth up and uh, probably uh, 3Q Sutantra also will be uh, going to uh, come up with a lot of programs with the youth up in a very global way with uh, with the different uh, strategies and uh, you know uh, what we are doing only in India let us uh, put across to different part of the world as well so that people will get uh, a good amount of uh, benefits so that's what uh, we uh, would like to say from thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you and uh, thank you and, so and your no, your, your you. program is there <laughs> yeah thank, thank you thank you. you so much yeah I understand you. Thank you. <laughs> so she has, has just it's one minute. Very just very one, no, one minute. One, one minute. I'll, I'll take uh, 0.5 seconds. I hope that should be fine with you. Uh, uh, I think this event has been a great show, what we have put up. And I just want to say that, you know, Dr. Faith and the entire team over here, it's our first representation from Youth Up South Asia in such a large event. And uh, the best uh, way to go about Asia and Africa continental impact. I think I have more to, uh, you know, connect with Dr. Faith in terms of fellowships, in terms of the Innovate Asia program coming forward. So there's a huge landmark that's being set ahead for us. And uh, we are looking forward for you all to take part in our Youth Up South Asia events. The speakers were vibrant today. Thank you so much for having me, the team South Asia. And uh, it was glad meeting all the global leaders out here. Thank you so much, Shehaz, for, for all that you're doing and for the leadership in Asia community and in South Asia. And the whole idea about Youth Up Global, why we made it a global community, is to have um, program exchange ideas and opportunities and, and the platforms that we are building, um, that we are building in such that in anywhere, in any part of the world, you, are, you, can, you can connect to opportunity. That is the whole concept connecting opportunities and and like the likes of you ma makes it easy for us who are also driving that same force in the asian community connecting the african continent thank you so much for, for the work you do in asian community and at this note i want to say gentlemen and ladies thank you so much for staying put thank you from here um, nigeria and i want to say have a lovely day afternoon, morning, evening, night, whichever it is for you, it is for me. God bless. I'm going to ask um, our chief technical partner here to, um, to close the session. Kenneth, please do us the honor. OK, well, that's, uh, I hope you can still hear me. Yes. <laughs> yes. All right. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Uh, thank you very much, everyone. So uh, thank you for honor and privilege. I'm not even sure which way to vote, whether it's a closing prayer or a closing word of exhortation, but I appreciate everyone. And thank you for being here. Thank God for giving us the opportunity to make this happen. I, I trust we shall do more. And uh, I trust Dr. Faith Moria will keep making things happen globally. So all the best in your endeavors, all the best in whatever you are doing. Uh, let's keep collaborating and keep making impact. I just also posted our YouTube channel. Let the message get out there. Subscribe to our channel. Uh, share the content. I hope, uh, I hope, I hope um, Kenneth, before you go, I hope we were able to uh, edit some of those. Um, we have um, to edit it, but it's not uh, fully processed yet. So that typically happens after 15 hours. So tomorrow morning, tomorrow morning, we'll, we'll take it out. Okay, is there, is there any way we can stop it going um, being out? Yeah, we can we can uh, make suspend it, it until we do our work. Um, yeah. uh, back, back. I don't want it to be out with such image. That's it's, uh, we can do that. it's annoying and then offensive. Yes, no, no problem. We we'll yeah. do that. Yes, so that once we are done back end, we can put it out. Mm. Yes. Yeah. That's fine. So uh, uh, just just yeah. just block the block the access to the to the video. Uh, the Before video the make it unavailable for for YouTube now until we are. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. That's that's it for me. Thank you very much, everyone. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Everyone, bye-bye for now. <laughs> <laughs>
Bye. Bye. Bye, Shrevio. Bye, bye, bye. Bye, bye. You knew some change. Senator, Senator, the way you're balancing. <laughs> bye. Isaac, um, Kenneth, Bethel. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone.